What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Fireside Rangers. It is the second episode of the day because we've got some breaking news to cover. Um, as me and Tony were recording the first one that we just posted earlier, um, like about halfway through it, we saw the breaking news that Philip Heedle returned to practice. He's wearing the red no contact jersey, so things are moving along quite well for him. And then about an hour after that, we learned that the Rangers were placing Nick Benino on waivers, which, to my opinion, long overdue, should have happened a little bit sooner than this but either way we got two pieces of news that we're going to go over here really briefly um before we do make sure you guys like subscribe ring the bell so you don't miss a notification if you're watching us on apple or spotify be sure to give us a five star review leave your thoughts down in the comment section below on both of these topics um philip Heal coming back from injury and nick benino nick benino being placed on waivers lastly be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms at fireside rangers on instagram x and tiktok um but I guess getting right into it, um, Will, we'll start with um, Philip Heedle coming back from injury. Um, what are your initial thoughts on him and him being in that red no-contact jersey? Um, you know, it makes me feel good that, you know, finally seeing him back at practice, he's missed 37 games. Um, tomorrow will be his 38th. Um, you know, he's he's a young player who seemed to have concussion history, and, and this one seemed like his worst, but, you know, him coming back and, and seeing him on the ice was really good, and, you know, we saw a lot of um, pictures of him in the Czech Republic, or I guess Czechia, um, when he was skating with Jager, and then he was with um, Libor Hedl, I guess that's his trainer, um, uh, which was really good to see as well, him getting back into the groove um, pretty quickly, so it's it's exciting because the Rangers obviously are have a depth issue right now, and him coming back and being that third line center would uh, would fix a lot of issues that the Rangers have right now. Yeah, I, I know. Um, me and Tony did a video about Heedle just a few days ago, talking about when he does return from injury, where would the Rangers have him play? And we, we kind of broke down this this little spiritual journey that Heedle's been on. You know, it's it's I don't know what happened, but. He was tra training in the U.S., trying to get better. He had to go on a journey back home to Europe, and I guess he found like his Mr. Miyagi and Yarmir Yager somehow. And he's just been traveling the world, recovering. And you know, I'm happy to see him back. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be so soon after we made that Filipino video, um, but it's great to see him back skating with the team. I saw a few clips of him skating earlier this morning. You know, he was definitely keeping his distance, but he was rotating in as that third line center which I think is where the Rangers need him most. But, Will, just because you weren't a part of that video with Anthony, um, is third-line center where you would see Phil Philip Edel ideally being placed? Would you want to give him some time up on that first line right wing now that Blake Wheeler's kind of stepping back in? Um, No, I think I think him being in that second – that third-line center is perfect for him, especially if you're playing with Cooley – um, and Kako, which is what the lines were at practice today. Uh, like you just said, Wheeler was back up on that, on that right wing, but first line right wing. But it seems like with Hedl, you know, working back into the mix in the third line with Cooley and Kako, and then obviously Wheeler going back up, it just seems like he's a placeholder right now for that one line right center, right center, <laughs> right wing, uh, that first line right wing. Um, so I, I think they're, this is kind of goes off track, but I think it just seems that because he's a placeholder, the Rangers are going to try and trade or trade for like an Andrew Cop type player, which is like, you know, obviously he can play right wing or a wing, any wing spot and then center as well. So, but yeah, I think that that third line center is, is perfect for him. And you know, that newly found kid line with now Will Cooley instead of Alexi Lafreniere, I I'm, I've been excited. I've been saying that for, since you know Hedl went down and Trocek stepped up, but I think that that's an exciting line, and I think that's a perfect place to put Hedl right now. Yeah, I, I agree. The third line center is probably exactly where he is going to end up, and um, it's convenient because the third line center is currently vacant because the player that has been holding that position since Hedl was injured was Nick Benino. And I guess that's a perfect transition into the other piece of breaking news that's happened today the Rangers are placing Nick Benino on waivers. Um, I have a quote here from Peter Laviolette provided by Vince Mercagliano on Twitter. Um, Laviolette said, he met with Drury this morning. It's a decision that was made. I've worked with Nick for quite a few years going back to Nashville. I can't speak enough about him as a person. He's just a good guy, a good teammate. 
it's a tough day. Now, I'm, I'm not denying that Nick Benino is a good person. You know, he's provided great leadership presence to the Rangers. You know, he's won a Stanley Cup. I believe he's won two, right? Am I correct on that? With Both with Pittsburgh? Or was it only one with Pittsburgh? Either way, someone fact-checked me in the comments. Uh, I think it might be one. One or yeah. two. Someone in the comments will know for sure. Um, so if you do know, please let us know. Um, but either way, you know, Stanley Cup champion, at least one. Um, great veteran presence in the locker room. He was pretty good at blocking shots. But other than that, to me, you know, he didn't really provide too much. He only had five points, one goal and four assists in, I think, like 45 games played with the team. So he didn't really produce offensively, which at the beginning of the season didn't really matter because everyone else was scoring. And that was pretty much masked by the rest of the team. And his defensive abilities were all right. But now at this point in the season, with the Rangers going through their slump, a change needed to be made. Benino wasn't really doing much at anywhere on the ice. Like I said, five points in 45 games. He was a minus 12 um, on the ice at the time of this um, move being placed on waivers. So to me, you know, it's unfortunate to see him get waived like that. But at the end of the day, we signed him to a one year, like $800,000 deal. It was very low risk high reward turns out there really wasn't much of a reward there to be gained from the signing so doesn't really hurt the rangers by any means um hopefully Heedle will come back fill in that role and we'll see if benino gets picked up anywhere and you know to me at this point though i will say in my my personal opinion i think it might be time for benino to retire but if he decides to keep playing um i'll definitely root for him i have no beef with him like i do with barkley goudreau just didn't work out well, that's 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 my initial reaction to it. I'll, I'll let you give your thoughts, Will. Um, I didn't hate Nick Benino. I actually liked him. Um, I think he was a player that kind of just because of all the in- injuries, he had to have a role that he really wasn't fit for. Um, and obviously that was a third line center. I don't know if you know. Obviously, I can't say for certain because you know of all the injuries but if there if the rangers were fully healthy this entire year no injuries i don't think benino would be on the ice every night and i think that would have been a lot better to for him because he's old i mean he's an old guy um and 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 he wouldn't be playing in the third line center role every single night which is obviously not what the rangers and not what his purpose was intended for on the rangers so um you know it was an eight hundred thousand dollar signing it wasn't bad it's not like it's a binding contract but it he 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 did kind of what he needed to do i guess not really after looking at his charts but he kind of in the beginning of the season he he did what he needed to do and then once he had that that you know that higher role it was just maybe it got a little too crazy and he was trying to do too much and couldn't focus on what he was really brought in here to do which would be a fourth line defensive guy but you know do I really care? Not really. It doesn't really, it doesn't, it, I'm not, either way. I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not sad. I am just like, all right, whatever. But you know, just opens up that Philip Heedle's on his way. So that's what makes me excited about this. But Nick, thank you for the 45 games you've played in a Ranger thank sweater, you. but sorry, it had to come down, had to uh, end like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it answers a few questions as well, too. You know, yes, yesterday the Rangers called up Jake Lashishan from the Wolfpack. That kind of came out of left field. Then this morning, Benino missed practice for personal reasons. Now we know why. Um, so, like you said, best of luck out there to Benino. Um, there's, you know, things haven't been going that well for the Rangers recently over the last month or so. Um, now, Nick Benino being waived and Philip Heal coming back from injury. I don't think either of those moves are going to, you know, immediately fix the Rangers, but at least in my opinion, it's a step in the right direction, getting a more solid, younger, skilled player into the lineup and taking an older veteran who wasn't really contributing much out of the lineup. You know, you're making progress, which is what I'm really glad to see, you know, throughout the last month, I, I could name at least a handful of moves that should have been at least started to be made in order to get this team back on track. And, You know, I'm just happy that it's here Um, and it's we're not panicking at the end of the season trying to get things worked out and everything. But um, that about wraps up this short little 
breakdown of these two moves the Rangers made today. Thank you to everyone for watching. Um, make sure you guys like, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss a notification. If you're watching us on Apple or Spotify, be sure to give us a five-star review. Um, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. How happy are you that Philip Edel's back? Well, not fully back, but he's skating with the team at practice. And um, everyone just comment, thank you, Nick Benino, for 45 games of mediocre hockey. <laughs> um, but, yep, that about wraps it up. Follow us on all of our socials at Fireside Rangers. Have a good one. And let's go Rangers, let's go Rangers. for the second time today.